In this Godot tutorial, we're going to learn how to stop first-person shooter weapons from clipping into walls just like this. Here we have a first-person character controller, and if we look at the camera preview, we already have our gun set up. I'm assuming you're already at this point as well, and from now on I'm going to refer to the gun as the view model. Click on the view model, and under visual instance, remove it from layer 1 and put it in layer 2 instead. Next, add a viewport container as a child of the camera, which will bring you to this 2D view. Click on layout and select full rect from the menu so that it stretches to fill the entire game window. Add a viewport node as a child of the viewport container and set its size to match the size of your game. In my case, it's 2560 by 1440. Also, don't forget to enable transparent background. Back in the 3D view, add a camera as a child of the viewport and rename it to gun cam. You don't have to do this, but for now, change the FOV to match the FOV of your main camera. In my case, it's 90. Then, under Call Mask, disable every single box except for Layer 2. Once that's done, go to the main camera and keep every box enabled except for Layer 2. Next, go into the script for your character controller and create a reference to both the main camera and the gun camera. On ready var camera equals and then the path to the camera, as well as on ready var gun cam equals and then the path to the gun cam. Then write func process delta gun cam dot global transform equals camera dot global transform. When it comes time to test it out in game, if you have any lights in the scene such as a directional light, make sure to select the light and enable layer 2 under visual instance. Run the game and now your gun no longer clips into walls. If you want your view model camera to have a different FOV than your main camera, you can go right ahead and change it to whatever you like and it'll work just fine. One issue with this method is that if you're using any world environment post processing, such as bloom, glow, or saturation, unfortunately these adjustments will not show up on the view model. If if you know how to fix this, leave a comment down below, otherwise I have no idea. Like, subscribe, bell, social media links down below, and as always, have a nice day.